Sadiq Khan did not expect, or hope, to mark his first anniversary as mayor of London like this. It has been a shattering couple of months for the city, the terror attacks at Westminster Bridge, London Bridge and Finsbury Park Mosque, followed by the fire at Grenfell Tower. It's been an awful time, he says. The worst weeks of my life, professionally, and I've had pretty tough times as a lawyer and an MP. He admits that, on occasion, he has struggled to know what to say by way of comfort, hope or explanation. I thought long and hard before making a statement after the London Bridge terror attack. In the end, I said, not in my name, because I don't want anybody who is Muslim to think that somehow you are responsible, that you have to apologize for this. The response I received from fellow Muslims confirmed to me that my instinct was right. Khan has always been a fast talker. He says it was an imperative growing up as one of eight siblings and seven boys. Speak fast or you don't get heard. These days the words tumble out so fast that they crash into each other, and some are simply dropped, it's as if there just isn't enough time for the mayor of London to formulate a full sentence. He is political to the core, never off message, always to the point. A very different mayor from Boris Johnson. Johnson's clownish bluster has been replaced by an intense seriousness and be like industry, where Johnson would distract you with knockabout farce. And Latin, Khan cautions you over the head with facts and data. Challenge him on housing or transport. And he'll volley back any number of percentages to prove he's doing a better job than his predecessor.